we're going to see a lot of points today. Two really exciting young quarterbacks, two struggling defenses. Get your popcorn ready. We're going to light up the scoreboard. Temple quarterback E.J. Warner is a very smart and accurate passer. He leads the conference with 306 passing yards per game. Warner prepares like a professional. That allows him to know where the weaknesses in a defense are going to be and how to exploit them. Well, Yance did a good job that time using his size to pick up the blitz. Look at one and white on the right side, picking up that blitz, giving Musa that extra second to find an open receiver and move the stick. Temple was expecting man coverage there. They had a mesh concept call. They tried to create a rub over the middle of the field to get a guy open underneath. South Florida was playing zone. They took it away. Warner's looking for it over the middle. It's not there. No choice but to tuck it and run and a good tackle by Shuler to keep him short of the sticks. Play fields. Nice play. It was an RPO. Delillo thought he had some space to throw that glance route. Look for three on the left side of the screen. Just dropping right back. Reads that play well. Just couldn't quite get up high enough to bring that one down. It's funny how you identified some of the exact routes in our meeting with Alex Golish yesterday that they ended up using for big plays today. They're deep choice routes. That's what South Florida does a lot. They give their receivers three options. They got to read the defender in front of them. They can go deep. They can run a post, they can run a curl. They've been going deep today because they've been beating the defenders. That's what Chattanooga calls a free access RPO. Schomburg's reading that free snap. If he sees that he has some cushion on the outside, he's going to pull the ball out. He won't hand it off, and he'll just take that little quick hitch and let Mays do what he does best, and that's run after the catch. And this is their big running back, Jacquez Yant. When he gets the football, I'm telling you, if you're on defense, it is scary, isn't it? Yant is a freight train. I mean, he's coming at you at about 240 pounds. He can run a 4-5 in the 40 at that weight. That is impressive, and he's just going to barrel right through those tackles to pick up some extra yards would not want to bring this guy down. I'm making a business decision if I see Yant coming at me. <laughs> the mascot for the Governors, and that's an unusual look for him. He's for ready sure. to, yeah. He might be hiding from the buzzards trying to turn the snake camouflaged, or, or he's going hunting after this. It's, it's deer season in Tennessee. By all means, keep that headgear on. Otherwise, it could be lights out for the Governors mascot. Time for Austin P to figure out how they can make some impact plays defensively. What changes do you think they need to make, Patrick? I think they've got to play a little more press coverage on the outside to take away some of the short passes. They did a better job of that right there with McIver taking away that little comeback route. Textbook play by Brown. Playing cover two at corner. He's got to push in that corner route. Comes in from underneath it. Makes a nice leaping interception. Fooled E.J. Warner, which you don't do often. Warner's got to recognize that Brown's getting that depth and he's there to cushion that route. Doesn't see it, thought he could fit it in. Brown makes a really nice play. Great play call by Danny Langsdorf, the offensive coordinator. In that situation, third down in the red zone, they like to go with a corner route from the tight end inside. This time they run a post and Christopher Townsend, the safety, he was going outside. He's looking for the corner route. Instead, he comes inside on the post and Smith is wide open for the touchdown.